Hey guys, if the JPEG or JPG file is not opening in your Windows PC, then this video is for you. Just follow these steps and see that the issue is fixed or not. So, first of all, go to the settings and click on apps. Click on default app. Click on choose default apps by file types. It may take some time to load. Now just scroll down to the .jpg or .jpeg file. So here it is. Here you have to make sure that the default app must be photos. Then just close the window and see that the issue is fixed or not. If the issue is still there, just follow the second method. In the second method, again go to the settings. Just click on apps. Just search here the photos app. Here you can see that the Microsoft photos. Just click on Microsoft photos and click on advanced options. Scroll down and click on repair button. Now click on reset button. It will show you the warning message. This will permanently delete apps data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Uh, but it will not affect on the on your local drive or your local data. So don't worry about it. Just click on reset button, and it will reset your photos app. So that's it, guys. Uh, now once restart your PC and see that the issue is uh, fixed or not. If not, then follow the third method. So in the third method, just click on start button and search over here, PowerShell. Okay, wait, uh, you have to run this application as an administrator. I will open this application again. Just uh, click on start button and search PowerShell and run this application as an administrator. Into the PowerShell window, just press this command. You don't need to write this command manually. I will print this command into the description box below. So just copy it from there and press it over here and hit enter. This command is actually reinstall your all of the uh, Windows default application. So just press it into the PowerShell and hit enter and execute this command. All of your uh, default application will reinstall by itself so after the executing of this command just restart your pc and see that the issue is fixed or not so that's it guys thanks for watching